I don't know about you, but this quarantine thing kind of sucks. You know, I'm stuck in my house almost every day, which isn't that big of a deal. I get to play video games. But the fact that I am limited of what I can do in my daily life. See, I'm a big tennis player, and I like to go outside, you know, and play tennis. I like to go out with friends sometimes, and I like to have a job with an income coming in. COVID-19 has been a very stressful few month for about, it's been about a month now. And it's going to, I don't know how much worse it's going to get, but this is kind of sucky. Now, what can we do about it? Ah, absolutely nothing right now. What we're doing is we're forced to sit in our houses and hope for the best. Key this in mind, although this isn't the worst thing in the world, this is affecting our current mental health and mental stages. We completely ignore the fact that we are inside the house. We're trapped inside our houses and we're losing track of days. Thousand people's jobs are gone now. The company I worked for, I recently have been laid off and I have no job. I have no income, which isn't a big deal because I am a fresh I'm a freshman in college right now. But my coworkers are adults, people who have bills to pay and children to feed. Currently, our government isn't funding us and giving everyone a, a, a pay for them to fund themselves. And there's still companies still trying to charge you every month for bills that you can't even pay in the first place. See, I understand entertainment bills that you can cancel temporarily, like Netflix and Hulu. But water bills, electricity bills, and then they're saying, hey, you should still kind of pay this because, you know, we're a business too. But we're in a, we're in a crisis right now. And the fact that we're still living in this harsh reality kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. Now, what can we do about it? Nothing. We can cry. We can whine. But what we should do as a um, as an as a as a um, union as a uh, country is that people in their state should gather around and try forcing the government to help us help help themselves out. See, even if your bills do not even if you don't have to pay your bills for this month, it stacks over time. If you have to pay three hundred dollars for electricity this month and three hundred dollars next month, you can't pay either month. Six hundred dollars total. Let's say you get your job next the month afterwards. That's nine hundred dollars electricity, and you're only getting you're only working for one month. You're in debt. You're losing money, and the company is is scamming you so hard. Whatever you're paying things with your credit card, people don't realize that you can pay everything with your credit card. But who cares? Because if you can't pay it off eventually, the bill is going to go higher, the interest rate is going to increase much higher, and you're screwed in the long run. COVID nineteen sucks. But there are some bright sides to this all. See, a few days ago, I was streaming on Twitch, and a viewer came, to, came up to me and said, Hey, what are your opinions of COVID-19? How do you deal with this? I'm like, well, I'm on here, and I'm trying to enjoy it the best I can. I'm streaming content, and I'm living it. There aren't many cars outside right now, and many companies are being shut down. Pollution has been reduced a decent amount. People are inside their houses, and people aren't driving their cars as much. Yay, Earth. You get a small break for now. There aren't people going to the beaches, throwing and littering every day anymore. And we're forced to learn how to think in a different way and adapt to a new, a new feature. Online. Online kind of sucks, but you can bear with it. Now, everyone, now people are now kids who aren't who normally don't get to see their parents or with their parents right now. Now, now you get that extra help you really needed, the extra attention you needed in school. Some people don't have the the learning ability to just sit there and just learn. So people need the extra help, but with a class of twenty or twenty five kids, it's kind of hard. Kids can get individual attention, but there comes a time where. Even the adults don't know what they're doing, and they can't help their kids, and they're struggling. There's kids who are hungry every day still, and all those resources to get them food, not everyone can go to those places to get grab those food and everything. What we should do is not focus on ourselves and focus on others, focus on helping others. We should get together and help someone who's in more need. Yes, I don't have a job. Yes, you're not being able to pay your bills. There's people who have been like this for months now, years now, who have been struggling in this exact same way. Not because of COVID-19, but it's because people don't have the...
privilege like you do. We should consider this and work work together to help out others. Yes, this is a rough time right now, but we have gone through many things and we're going to get through it again. COVID-19 isn't the worst, worst thing in the world. Being trapped at home? Yeah, it kind of sucks. But to be honest with you, many of us already do that. We spend hours and hours on our phones every day, and that kind of racks of time we're staying at home. But now people are realizing it, and they're coming to a sense that, hey, I need to get out and do something. So COVID-19 isn't all that bad. It's somewhat bad, I'll give you that. But we can bear, we can bear with it for now. Thank you very much.